hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our previous system and in previous video guys we have done with this order create and place the order and also with the save orders so guys you can see that we have stored few orders in our database so now guys in this video we will be fetching all the order items whatever we have stored in our database okay so guys now let's get started so guys now let's click on this orders so here you see that it's going to orders.php inside admin folder so guys let's move to our editor okay so let me close all the files let's go inside admin folder right click on the admin folder just create orders.php we have created it and now guys let's import the header and footer part so you can just copy from any of the file so let me copy this and here minimize this form copy this the ending of the footer okay so this is a basic card structure design guys so i have just here container fluid then card your card header and inside this card header i want as orders and here i don't need a back button just simply keep orders and here is my card body so guys first let us see the output of it get back refresh perfect so we see that orders and now guys let us loop all the order so what is our order that is nothing but whatever we have stored here inside our orders table okay so yep let's move back so now guys let's begin with the php code open php close php write a query equal to select star from orders so now guys i just want to include the customer details also like here you have the customer id and i want to show the customer details like customer name and phone numbers okay so let's call that also so what we'll do orders as o and customer as c give a where condition customer dot id equal to your order dot customer underscore id i just want to order by desc okay so order by id of which id uh, my orders table id okay so that is o dot id in desc format okay descending format and now guys here instead of star you need to get all the orders table data give comma and also the customer dot star okay so it will get from the customer table also perfect so now guys you can execute this above query orders equal to mysqli underscore query function where give your connection database and then your query and now guys let's check this query is true or false if it is true then come in and now let us again check here let's execute mysqli number of rows function and paste that orders is greater than zero if it is greater than zero then show the data else you can mention like no record available so just echo in a h5 tag and mention no record available okay and here in the else condition mention echo something went wrong and now guys here let's do the let me control x this space and here you begin with your table design table dot table then table striped table hyphen bordered columns in center so align items center then justify content hyphen center then begin with the table head t head then table row table heading th add the tracking number dot then your customer name let me make a c name then c phone your order date order date then order status then your payment status and finally one action button for view and print and now guys let's begin with the t body that is table body let's open php and close php here start the for each loop let me copy and paste and here add semicolon and end for each okay then semicolon 
and now guys you need to copy your orders variable so let me copy this order variable copy that and start the loop paste as dollar order item done and now guys you can begin with the table row tr and table data then td and now you can add a font weight bold for the tracking number so here dollar order item of from your table tracking underscore number and now copy and paste i don't need this bold for other fields let's remove it and here the name it's going to be customer name and then phone number we are going to just control x user date function is a format date month and year you can add a comma after m give comma str to time okay string to time and paste your variable so this is going to be your order date so order underscore date where is this variable order date let me just show you so here is that order date okay so we are using that order date and at last give the semicolon let me copy and paste below for order status order underscore status copy and paste then payment status payment status okay not status it's actually payment mode so here also you can change this payment mode okay done and now guys finally a last td for view button and one will be for the print button okay p r i n t print which will be developing in further videos and here let's design this button using bootstrap classes button button info margin bottom zero px3 and let me make this button small also done guys now let me copy this same class and paste here for the print button and change the button color primary now guys let us see the output get back refresh okay so we are facing like customer doesn't exist let's get back where is our query here yeah, guys okay it's not customer it customers it is s okay refresh perfect so we have got the data so we have two records we got those two records done guys so now guys let's continue next video about how to view this um orders and its order item data okay so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share